Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. So a few weeks ago, I made a bug house or a bug hotel. And from that, I got a suggestion for another build. And that was to make a hedgehog house or a hedgehog restaurant. The idea being that hedgehogs are in decline and this gives them a safe place for them to have dinner. So they're not attacked by predators and no one else can steal their food. So I've sketched out a rough plan and I'm gonna get this build. I know I've been using them a lot recently, but I'm going through this pile of reclaimed scaffold boards, so I think they'd be perfect for this. I've used these boards on a few projects now, and I've kept them their original thickness, because they're really nice and chunky. But for this, I'm going to need to rip them down. But first, I'm going to get them cut down to some more manageable lengths, and then I can mark out just down the center line of each of them. Then I'm gonna use the big bandsaw, and this is pretty much the maximum capacity for this machine. With them all ripped in half, I can go into the main workshop, and now they're gonna all need planing down to remove all those saw marks. as I'd only got them roughly cut to size. Now I need to get them marked out and cut down to their final dimensions. So this is really just a glorified box, but I'd quite like the roof to be sloped so I want to lower one end of this. So I get that marked out, and then I can use the bandsaw to cut these angles. Both sides cut, I can get them clamped up in the vise, and just use a hand plane to get them down to the same level. Now the end wall needs to match this angle, so I work out what it is, get the saw blade tilted over to that, and then I can get the piece cut. A house is not much use without an entrance. This badger has kindly agreed to stand in as a hedgehog and I can use him to get the dimensions. So I think this hole saw is gonna work well to make a door. So I get that drilled into the front and I do exactly the same in another piece that's gonna be an internal divider. I don't want the entrance to just be round. This is a hedgehog house, not a hobbit hole. So I draw lines down on both pieces and then I can get those cut along on the bandsaw. To join it all together, I'm just gonna use some wood glue and screws, but I want the screws to be hidden so I'm going to use a plug cutter set. First I get the holes drilled and then I can get it glued and screwed together. Out of the scraps from the doors I can then get all the plugs cut and popped out. Some PVA wood glue goes into all the holes, the plugs get put in and tapped down into place. While I'm waiting for the glue to dry on those, I can start work on the roof. So I've got the same wood, but I need to join two pieces together. So I mark out how wide they need to be, get it ripped down on the table saw, and then I can glue up a couple of pieces into a panel. Now, while I wait for that glue to dry, I can come back and trim off these plugs. Then I can just give it all a good sand down. I'd thought about several ways of attaching the roof because I want it to be removable. I thought about hinging it, 
But what I'm going to do is cut down some internal dividers that fit perfectly and then I can attach them to the roof and what they're going to do is lock it in place but also keep it flat. These just get installed with some glue and screws and then the roof or lid just lifts on and off. I thought I'd add my branding to the front but this turned out to be a bit of a mistake as you see I'll have to redo it later. As this is some pine that's going outside I want to get a good finish on it so I'm going for some Treetex classic colour and I'm going for a forest green. So the finish is dry on this and I want to add some extra protection to the roof. So what I've got is some copper sheet that's 0.5 of a millimetre thick and I'm going to attach this with some contact adhesive. So I get some spread on both surfaces and then leave it for 10 minutes until it's gone tacky and then they can be joined together. I'll put a link down below onto the tools I use page on where you can get this contact adhesive from. So hopefully the copper will age over time a bit like a church roof and go green and really blend in nicely. So I ended up remaking my logo on a little plaque and I'm glad I did because I think it looks much better this way. So that's it all done. Now I'm going to do a dramatic recreation to demonstrate how it works. So some viewers might find the next scenes disturbing. So the hedgehog goes into the little house. It goes through the entrance, round the tight bend and into the dining room where it can sit down and enjoy its dinner. Now, if a predator turns up and tries to get in, it's going to struggle to get its body around the tight curve and the hedgehog can enjoy its dinner in peace. So that's it all done. Now it's off to its new home, the garden of one of my subscribers and they have a wildlife cam, so hopefully the next few shots you'll see is of it actually being used by some hedgehogs. So, thank you for watching, thank you to my patrons, and please subscribe for more videos. If you'd like to see more of these little creatures, I'll put a link down below to the Woco YouTube channel. There's loads more footage of them and hopefully loads more clips of the restaurant being used. So go check it out.